No, I think we're going to see the Great Pumpkin today. The Great Pumpkin? I think we're going to see it today. I don't know. I really think so. Wow. Did I hear that right? Today, I might see the gargantuan gourd himself? Actually witness the giant orange orb? The Great Pumpkin right here on the banks of the Wisconsin River? Oh, if only Charlie Brown could see me now. I have truly arrived at Pumpkin Palooza. It's the first full weekend in October, and I'm in central Wisconsin in the small and friendly community of Nakusa. Since 1997, Nakusa has been home to the Giant Pumpkin Fest, an event that has grown in size almost as big and fast as the giant pumpkins themselves. Pumpkin growers from around the state have collected and delivered the pride of their harvests for the big weigh-in. It's all official, with representatives on hand from the Central Wisconsin Pumpkin Growers Association and the GPC, that's the big one, the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth, to accurately measure, weigh, and record these monstrosities. You may wonder, how did they ever get these things here? That's the most commonly asked question. We had to actually build a lifting frame and then I had to get a uh, lifting hoist, and we took a lot of people, pumpkin lifting straps, a spreader arrangement to keep the compression stresses down on the pumpkin. Um, a lot of work. Basically, you pick it up, you hold it, you drive a trailer underneath it, and you lower it onto a pallet. Have you ever dropped a big pumpkin while you're trying to move it? Not yet. George and his wife, Rebecca, are pumpkin growers from Verona, Wisconsin and they're eager to tell you about their pumpkin growing obsession. Uh, this is our three, third year growing pumpkins competitively. All right, have you won any prizes yet? Uh, yeah, our first year out we took first place at Stoughton. Um, last year we took uh, fifth place, and this year is yet to be seen. All right, what do you think you're gonna pull this year? Uh, we're hoping for first place, we're hoping for a new state record here in Wisconsin, like and I'd uh, very much like to see 1,500 pounds. Wow, how many pumpkin pies would come out of a pumpkin that big? Uh, probably quite a few if it were good pumpkin to eat, but unfortunately these aren't good eating pumpkins. What do you do with the pumpkins when you're done with them? Uh, we display them at our home. Uh, we're, we may be taking them to a place where more people get to see them this year. There seems to be a myriad of methods to growing giant pumpkins, and most of these growers don't seem to mind sharing some of their secrets with me. I would say the trade secrets secrets of growing a large pumpkin is you got to have good seed genetics, good soil, and a lot of water. How about the love? Oh, there's always a lot of tender loving care that goes along with it. Do you talk to your pumpkins? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, what do you... Try not to let too many people know that, but yes, we do talk to them a little bit too. What do you say to a pumpkin? <laughs> you just kind of try to baby in the lung. The biggest pumpkin I've ever had is 1,030. That I grew last year. Uh, this year I have uh, two in the contest. Uh, I got the same measurements as the one from last year. Same. I used the same uh, cross that I did last year, and this one's very similar to the one last year. I'm hoping it's to be about 1,030 again. Well, the most important item is to get yourself a good quality seed, and you got to have full sunlight all all day and need some good fertilizer and lots of water and a little bit of luck. Uh, the secrets are hard work, a lot of study, understanding the soil, and there's still mother nature's a big factor. Luck has a lot, a lot to do with it. George, do you have names for your pumpkins? <laughs> uh, he does one. I have one. Uh, Becky doesn't want me to call the pumpkin this. We have a, I have a Cindy Crawford. And she has a little mole on the side. It kind of looks like Cindy Crawford. And uh, she's aged well. She has a nice complexion. Uh, Cindy Crawford is the big orange pumpkin that's out there. So there, back the words out. <laughs> Officially 1,058, Dave. 1,058. Give him another round of applause. The weigh-in begins. Nearly 60 of these plus-size pumpkins are here today, and their growers are anxious to find out if they can break any state or national records. Who will win the giant pumpkin prize? Stay tuned, but first, let's take a quick little tour of Nakusa's giant pumpkin fest. Uh, we're estimating attendance to be 40,000 people this year. We've had excellent weather. We probably set a record high today. It's mid-80s and humid, which is very odd for October in Wisconsin. <laughs> 
we have a bake off on Sunday. We have crafts, flea, farm market, children's games, carnival rides, you name it. It's an all-in-one family stop. There's pumpkin candy, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin shopping bags. Have I left anything out? Oh, let's see. We have pumpkin rock cookies. We have pumpkin cheesecake. We have pumpkin trifle, pumpkin pie, pumpkin bars, pumpkin muffins. Uh, we have a pumpkin citrus cake. We have pumpkin bonbons, pumpkin walnut fudge. Uh, that's about all I can think of right offhand. Oh, there's also pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Yeah, all it's sorts of fun house. stuff. Lots of fun stuff for kids. Here you go. Take one. It's a pumpkin sensory overload. And let's not forget about one of the all-American favorite pastimes, pumpkin carving. This is a hobby. A carve from August to uh, October. What's your website? Uh, Steve'sPumpkinArt.com. I've been carving for uh, the Cruz of Pumpkin way off for uh, nine years. What do you charge to carve a pumpkin? Uh, it rain, it, mainly it ranges uh, anywhere from $50 up to $150 an hour. How long does it take you to carve a pumpkin like this? Uh, you can go anywhere from uh, two hours to four hours. Meanwhile, back at the giant pumpkin weigh-in, it's down to the final three. 1,258 and a half pounds. New Minnesota state record, folks. Oh, what's this? Some meddling Minnesotan from the North Star State has stormed our borders to infiltrate and set a new Minnesota state record? Where's the Border Patrol? Homeland Security? Michael Chertoff, where are you? But wait, we're not done yet. Two giant pumpkins remain, both from the husband and wife team of George and Rebecca from Verona, Wisconsin. Here comes Rebecca's pumpkin, the Cindy Crawford. And the results are in. Yes, now here comes George's giant pumpkin and... is it this is the great pumpkin and i was here to see it oh joy oh happy day charlie brown eat your heart out let's hear it for him ladies and gentlemen the winners new state record 1362 pounds thank you everybody so there it is the giant pumpkin fest in nakusa wisconsin an event held every year during the first full weekend in October. So how do you cap off such an extraordinary, fun-filled event? You hoist an 1,100-pound giant pumpkin high into the air, and then, you guessed it, the giant pumpkin drop, where the little children scramble to claim their trophies and the remains of the day. That slimy, gooey goodness from the heart of the Great Pumpkin.